whatever. All right, I'm in Washington, D.C. for work and something that I haven't explored very much on my Sony a6500, which I've had for, that looks stupid, but they're awesome. I've had my Sony a6500 for over a year and there are a couple settings, S and Q, slow and quick motion on the a6500. How could it be both slow and quick? Obviously it's just a setting, but I didn't take the time to learn it. I am now. So I'm shooting this to show you some examples of the S and Q setting, cause it's really cool. I've shown you how to shoot high frame rate video on the a6500, 120 frames a second, take that into Final Cut or Premiere and how to easily turn that into super slow motion. It looks beautiful. But the camera has the ability to do this inside the camera. So it's already done when it comes out. When you take the SD card out, put it in your computer, it's ready. It also has the ability to do basically a time lapse. So here's a few examples and here's how you set that up if you have the A6500. Oh, I'm also shooting this both vertical for IGTV and horizontal for YouTube. So I'm not just taking one video and cropping it, the wide version and cropping it for IGTV. I'm shooting it once in landscape and once in vertical. Is that gonna be the workflow I use? I don't know, but that's what I'm doing today. We'll see how that workflow works out. We'll begin with quick motion. First step is to set your dial to movie mode. In your menu, go to the tab for movie exposure and s &Q motion. Scroll to the s &Q options. I like to use manual exposure, so we have complete control over the image. Now you can see the menu item tells us we're in s &Q manual exposure. Next, scroll to the s &Q settings. For the record setting, you have multiple options for playback. I'm using 24p. And for frame rate, choose how many images you wanna take each second. For this tutorial, I'm using one frame a second. As you increase your frames per second, the motion becomes slower. Speaking of slow motion, you wanna do the slow option of S and Q. Simply go back into the frame rate option. And as I mentioned, the higher the frames per second, the slower the motion. So we'll select a max FPS of 120 and we'll keep the record setting at 24p to achieve the slowest motion possible. And that's it. Make sure you're following for a more advanced S and Q tutorial in the future. I've learned a lot of things making this one and go have fun and experiment with S and Q motion.